What up, Houston Texans fans? The rumors are floating around. We've gone through the Keenan Allen debacle. We've gone through the Justin Jefferson debacle, the Stefan Diggs debacle, and now the latest rumors are T. Higgins drawing interest from the Houston Texans. Says who? They need says to, who? They need to quit that shit. Yeah, there who says like who? Two people from that from Twitter on the that report for the NFL said it. Now I haven't seen any Houston people report it, um, so I'm gonna just say that it's bullshit and they just wanted clicks. But there are a lot of fans that want T Higgins. There are a lot of fans that think T Higgins can be very beneficial to the team. There are even fans on our Facebook that say T Higgins is wide receiver one material. On it. Of course, T. Higgins will make your offense better. He's got talent. It's not worth what we're going to have to give up and pay for him. It ain't worth it, bro. I'm not trying to pay motherfucking 50 G's for a 2016 Cadillac. Yeah, I don't fucking know. Fuck that. <laughs> what? Sure. What, uh, how many draft picks is too much to trade for? Any. No, honestly, I would like probably if it was say, a fair deal, you get it. And the, but that's the thing yeah. is like I feel like he shouldn't cost a lot because I'm finna pay you a lot. Yeah. So getting anything, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like I would hold them fools hostage and be like fifth round pick, maybe. I was gonna say like maybe a fourth or fifth. I I couldn't see anything higher than that. Cause, I mean. They there won. was people today on our Facebook saying we should give up one of our second round picks for him. I saw that. No. That was dumb. That was dumb. I'm not how doing you, that. How you offer a third for Keenan Allen, but let me give a second for Higgins. Because this fool's way younger. Yeah. And I get it, but. No, I'm with you. I get it. Like, business wise, I can see why you would say that. But if you know fucking Texans football, that's stupid, bro. It's stupid. I ain't doing it. And the, I, my, if if I was gonna give anything up, I would say give up the round four pick one twenty three from Cleveland. But I mean, that would be like the that would be have, the highest I would go. We have two fours, right? No. Yeah. Yeah, we have two. Yeah. We, we have, have two, but I'm saying dog. I would. I'm saying I would give up Cleveland's pick. I mean, just no, because it's not that, really. Dog. I could give me a starting fucking lineback, four year starter with that pick and pay that food fucking nothing. Like, fuck this guy. I'm not, I don't want to pay you a bunch and, of money. And I think that's the biggest thing is like, if he had a contract, then it's like, all right, fine, bro. I got you locked in for two, three years. But like, how about, stupid he, would you be, Casario, to go trade some shit and then pay this motherfucker, right? When you could have, if you wanted a player like that that bad, you could have just signed Hollywood. Mm-hmm. You could have got somebody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's stupid. It and it's it's weird because like there's certain names that okay like the Stefan Diggs, we understand why you would probably trade for a Stefan Diggs, the the star power that he brings, the route running that he brings, all that right, the Justin Jefferson hands down anybody would trade for him if they had the opportunity and then you get into that next tier of guys and it's those t higgins and and those guys and it's like why why am i gonna one give up draft capital but also have to pay you after that i'm gonna tell you why i really don't want these motherfuckers and i don't mean to disrespect you y'all can play y'all good right so you say t higgins can be a number one right come to Houston and prove it. Stefan Diggs, come to Houston and prove that he's that good. And that's not what the fuck I want. I don't want you to prove anything. Did you ever feel like Nico Collins tried to prove to anybody he was the best receiver on the team? Did yeah. you feel like Tank Dale did that? Noah had two all-world games. He didn't do, like, don't bring that bullshit here. You know what I'm saying? Draft you a receiver, let him fall in line, and just keep this shit going. I mean... A.J. Brown, Stefan Diggs, T. Higgins. Those are all guys that are kind of drama queens. They don't – and I get it. I, I get the Stefan Diggs. You're, you're just, Ten receptions a game is what you should probably average for your talent. Now, that's on your quarterback and your offense. I got, that, that's another story. But also, if you're on Twitter every day complaining, if you're on, on you know, to the media throwing slugs at your, your teammates and everything, 
that represents your character and that then bleeds into our stuff and D'Amigo don't play with that like that locker room doesn't really play around with that shit so I get the T Higgins oh, requesting a trade wanting out of, of Cincinnati he feels he's worth it I, I get it you bet on yourself bro but I don't want to bet on you that's my thing <laughs> yeah I'm with you. If I'm going to get somebody here, I want somebody that I know is legit going to be the fucking starter. I don't want somebody to come here and feel like they have to prove themselves for it, like Zach said. But, and it's, like he said, Stefan Diggs is a perfect example. 31, mm-hmm. It it's, we know he's a solidified wide receiver one, but for some reason he hasn't done shit in Buffalo, so it, it feels like a... I'm going to go out there and prove that I'm still a top fucking receiver. It's like, bro, I don't give a shit about that. I want to win, bro. Like, Are I you going to catch this bitch when we throw it to you? That's what I want to know. And Now, is there any receiver out there that is you think is viable to trade for? Like, like Brandon Ayuk's name keeps popping up, and I think that's kind of like I doubt they trade him. Oh, yeah, I doubt they trade him. But, yeah, that would – I mean, even then, I feel like he would be in a prove-it f- frame of mind. Yeah. With, I mean, but he would, he would probably be the least problematic, in my opinion, though. Oh, no doubt. Oh, yeah. I use about his fucking – his shit, and he's out of there. And let's just keep it real. He's like, I would rather play with CJ than that little, little white, white dude over there. Cause they, he, it's like he could do no wrong. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker throw three yeah. picks and they still figure out the way to blame it on a tight end. It's like, what the fuck are y'all talking about? Skills fault. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> and I mean, looking at free agency, there's not very <laughs> much out there. It's Odell. But, but I just feel like I would take a little flyer on like a MVS or somebody like that. It's like, all right, like you come from a winning culture, you're not a problem, and you run fast. So let me give you a little bit of money and you do your thing. Just stay home and watch your dogs instead of complaining about it on the internet. We're in Houston. Somebody will watch your dog here. You might not get your dog back, but you're going to get a dog back. <laughs> That's very yeah. true, man. See, I was with but if, so. But if, if you do, if they were to bring, you know, MVS over here, I don't know that I would hate it because that fool's not in a prove it status, like Zach said. He's just this motherfucker didn't know shit. he won the Super Bowl, exactly. so he's not trying saying. to prove like, shit. He's exactly retarded. that's what I'm saying. Like, go out there, do your shit, and fucking win some games. Like, it's like, all right, bro. We we all for you, bro. We all for you. <laughs> like, it. And if you like, suck, we just don't play you. Well, and it's like we said, you're gonna have to get rid of Robert Woods. For any of these guys that you get, he's pretty much the odd man out. You're not going to get rid of one of your younger guys. But... I would right now, like if you told me to make a move, i drop Robert Woods, pick up uh, Josh Reynolds. It's the same player, but this one's younger. Yeah. And yeah, I'm, I don't know. I feel, I feel there's something. There's too much money to, that they're sitting on. Still too many free agents that are not. Um, it's weird though to be in the rumors of the Keenan Allen. We know he see it said it was true. The rumors of T Higgins, the rumors of Stefan Diggs, and all those. I'm pretty sure there's a few receivers we don't even know about that are in rumor mills. But to know, like, all right, these are the receivers they're going after, and the receivers that are out there, they're really not visiting with anybody. I mean, Mike Williams was one of the guys that we were like, all right, like. And he ain't Just even get one in the draft. We don't have to visit with everybody. So we're going young. So one of those. I would. One of those, what, second round, third round? I guarantee you with the 59th pick, you could get a fucking productive receiver in this draft. Like, I've seen Adonai Mitchell, Xavier Worthy, Roman Wilson, Malachi Corley. Like, all those guys, bro, like, they would all help Man, put Malachi Corley on this motherfucking team and watch what happened. We just watch what happened. That's the hardest runner in this draft. And he's a fucking receiver. Yeah. Xavier Leggett from South Carolina. He's he you can get him at fifty nine. Alright, I'm with it. 
No Stephon no. Diggs. No T. Higgins. No T. Definitely no T. Higgins. Oh, none of us want it. And I know y'all are going to be in the comments getting mad about it. I'm fine with that. I'm, I'll live with it. I'm just going to say, I'm just saying, if you're going to go out and trade a bunch of shit and pay a bunch of money, just trade a little more shit and pay a little bit more money and try to get a better player. True. Why, well, I mean, what the fuck is three picks opposed to four and 28 more million dollars if I could shoot for a Justin Jefferson or something? Or an Olave or Garrett Wilson. Cooper Cup. I was going to, I was, I've been sitting here this whole time thinking about what it would take for us to get Cooper Cup. That's not. Uh, I tell you exactly what it'd take you to get Cooper Cup. Tank fucking Dale. Oh. Nah, I'm all right. Mm. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Y'all need draft stock. We'll give you, look, we'll give you some picks for Cooper Cup. Come on. You got Puka. You don't need him. But they're not going to let you walk with a receiver without taking a receiver. They'll want Mechie or somebody, at the very least. I'll give them Mechie. But they're going to want more picks. I'll give them Mechie in the seventh. <laughs> I'll give you Mechie and Brevin Jordan. See, there we go. Here we go. Here we go. Well, Texas fans, I don't know. If you want T. Higgins still, um, I don't know what to tell you. Good luck. Get help. Um, Call yeah. somebody. It's like, Stop it. Just stop it. <laughs> uh, we're not T. Higgins supporters. If he comes here, we already have enough from Cincinnati and the Joe Mixon thing. I think that's enough uh, trading with them for now. Uh, I don't want anything from the Vikings, um, so that's fine. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, I don't know what you're doing, Nick. Uh, we're going to find out, though. Still a lot of free agency left until April. So keep it up, Texans fans. Make sure you made to this point. Like, subscribe, drop comments down below on what you think. Other than that, no T. Higgins in Houston. We ain't, we don't want it. I don't care what we giving up. I don't want it. Save that money for something else. We're out of here. How much I'm working for this? I swear my dreams are too important.